Hello friends, in this video, I am going to show you how to send an email using call automation method from an activity. I am telling you once again, uh, some people uh, might not be aware of sending an email using an activity call automation step method. Everybody knows how to send an email in Pega. I'm just logging into the Dev Studio and I'm using 8.6 version. In Pega, we can send an email to the recipient's email ID in a multiple ways. So many people know about this functionality, sending an email in Pega. How many ways we can send an email? We already have smart shape, send an email, send email is a smart shape there is a one more option there is a one more option we have a lot of OOTB activities to send an email that means we will create an utility from that utility we will call the OOTB activities to send an email this is also another option but uh, more or less, I am also using the same option, but I am sending an email in a different way. I am going to show you that how to send an email from an activity using call automation step method. So first of all, we will see the send an email automation shape. So usually how to configure the send an email in automation shape. You can choose any one of the case type in that case type. You can choose any one of the stage in that flow. You can configure the send email automation shape. For example, I have a, this case type. So this case type is having two stages. I am taking this loan creation stage and I am just opening the process. Everybody knows this. Usually everybody knows how to send an email uh, by using the automation shape <coughs> by using the automation shape from a flow. Now this is the one approach. This is the one approach. So now once you open the flow, you can select automations here. You can use send email this by using this smart shape. So I have another approach. The second approach is you can create a one utility. You can create a one utility or you can include this utility and So by using this utility also from utility you here you can call a OOTB activity send email notification send a simple email there are some OOTB activities based on the Pega version. So choose the appropriate OOTB activity for example now you can search send email. We have a OOTB activities or send email notification let me search for message send email
so for example you can use this OOTB activity send email notification send email notification you can use this OOTB activity directly also and you can pass the appropriate parameter to this activity that means what is the to address from address subject and message what are the SMTP server details you know that right uh, if anybody want to send an email we have to configure the SMTP server details so the SMTP server only can send an email to the destination recipient's address okay so how to configure the SMTP server details where to configure all these details I am not explaining here so uh, you people just go through the email account configuration email account conf how to configure an email account uh, in pega so where we will configure that um, smtp server details so this is also another approach to send an email in pega using a utility shape that means you can configure this utility shape in a flow instead of smart shape and you can trigger you can call that ootb activity so my third approach is I am going to explain that my third approach. So in this approach, I am calling my own activity, for example, test activity or test AC. I am just opening this activity. I am creating my custom activity. So this is my test AC. Okay, I am choosing this class and this rule set version. Click on create and open. So in this activity, I am not calling any OOTB activities. Remember this point, you must and should call an OOTB activity. You cannot write any Java code. You cannot write any Java code to send an email. A professional Java developer only can do that because you must know the Java mail APIs to send an email. I don't want to take that much risk. Why? Because Pega has providing a lot of OOTB activities. But I am not using those OOTB activities. I am using a different approach. So in Pega, in activity step method, there is a method called it as a call automation. Call automation. So by using this call automation, I can send an email. So when you expand this call automation method, so what is the resource? So what action or what action you want to perform? I mean to say, it is, is it related to the case or is it related to the email or is it related to the access group? So you must select um, email message. But what is the automation? So you want to create and send an email, create an email, read an email or send an email or get email status. There are different types of automation functionalities. For example, if you want to read an email, if you want to send an email, if you want to check the email status. Now here I am using create and send an email. If I select create and send an email, so you have to give the email account name because Pega doesn't know the SMTP server details. How to send an email? Pega doesn't know. You must configure and you must give the email account details. You people must be aware of how to configure the email account details in Pega. And as I told you, I'm not going to explain here. So give the email account name and to address CC and BCC and the subject. You have to give all these details how usually you can give the parameter details to OOTB activity and subject and the message text body or if you want to send a message in HTML format like this. You have to give all these details and just click on save. So if you want to send encrypted message you can send an email.
so you can send an encrypted message from here also you can send it so like this you have to give all these details then click on save but if you can open what is happening internally you just click on go back to the email message so just now i have configured the create and send an email right so when you once you click on this create and then send an email you can see the original implementation rule but paga has internally paga is having internally an automation rule call it as a create and send an email from the paga in integration engine version so here you can see there are list of parameters that this automation rule is accepting you have to pass all these parameters uh, from your calling activity but if you want to see what is happening internally so go to the implementation tab So I'm just opening that uh, automation rule, create and send an email once again. Once you open this automation rule where you can see the, uh, the real implementation activity, so by using that activity only Pega can send an email. Okay. I don't know. One second. I'm just refreshing. I am just reloading the Dev Studio. So go to our test activity again. Okay, now here uh, click on create and send an email. Now you can see the original uh, implementation automation rule in the background how Pega can send an email. So now see uh, we have to pass all these parameters and when once you click on this implementation this is the original activity pj create and send an email. This is the OOTB activity. So in this way I mean to say this is also one more way of uh, sending an email by calling a call automation step method from an activity i hope you understand uh, i hope you understand this uh, mechanism thank you